All right, here we are, here eights, uh, continuing with our fractions and decimals and percentages that we started, well, weeks ago, but um, most recently, um, we were looking at the conversion, weren't we, between um, percentages, which if you remember, this percentage means a special fraction out of 100, um, and we were doing some conversions, percentage to fraction, and we were doing some percentage backwards and forwards to decimals. And pausing there for a second. This is a little recap. Um, over here in fraction land, we, uh, we looked at, say, taking a 31% and understanding that that was 31. And when we saw percent, that just means out of literally out of 100. Um, and if we could make it smaller, we did. We, we did some tougher questions like perhaps 12.5%. Um, and we understood that that was still 12.5 over 100. But then we wanted to make this numerator a whole number, didn't we? So um, we figured that the easiest way of doing that was to multiply our numerator by 2 and therefore our denominator by 2 got us to a new fraction of 25 over 200 um, which uh, we reduced to 5 to 5 over 40 and eventually to 1 8 so that was some fractions to or sorry percentages to fractions going the other way and finding um, so from a from a fraction uh, so from a fraction to a percentage that was um, so if it's already over 100 fantastic if it's not and it might be uh, over say I don't know 25 I keep hitting something that results in that window coming out which is quite frustrating um, then I would because I know my percentage is just a special fraction out of 100, what I would do with my fraction would be to make it out of 100. So if it wasn't already, um, and I could easily get it there by multiplying by something, I worked out what that something was, made it out of 100, and got my percentage. Now, occasionally we had a fraction, didn't we, that was a little bit trickier, like... Um, I think uh, one six was an example we looked at, and that doesn't six doesn't go into a hundred nicely. So we uh, talked about this little move here, where we could just multiply our fraction by one hundred over one percent. Now I want you to understand something here: that this this here one hundred over one percent, a hundred percent is just one. That value there is just one. Now, if I've got something and I multiply it by one, that something doesn't change. So what we're doing here, well, all we're doing is multiplying by one. Um, but what we're doing by um, by multiplying by 100%, yes, it's one, but it converts the number into a percentage. So we undertake this, this multiplication now, and we get, well, we're, we're going to be smart about it, and we're going to simplify before we multiply aren't we so divide both by two then we're ready to go one times 50 was 50 over three times one is three 50 over three percent not 50 over three and that comes to 16 and two thirds percent and that might have been the last question we did on um on friday so that's fractions to percentages and percentages to fractions we also looked at as to continue our recap, we looked at um, percentages to decimals. So if I had 47%, I could write that as 0.47. Now, what we did, we thought about this as, oh, this percent means divide by 100, right? So I'm just going to take my decimal place two to the left. That's how I convert to a decimal. Uh, so it was there, it's now there. 
And this is useful when we come across some numbers like 36.1% because we can do the same thing now. I can take this decimal point and move it two to the left because that's what percent means. Percent means divide by 100, doesn't it? Percent out of 100, over 100. So that's what the percentage sign means. Um, don't get confused with what we were doing here when we wanted a fraction to turn into a percentage. I multiplied by 100 over 1%. Uh, There's a different move, wasn't it? So over here, we're converting a percentage. This means divide by 100, so I just move my decimal point 2 to the left. 0 0.361 is what we got there. That's where we got to. We had one more thing to do, and that is to turn decimals into percentages. So that's what we're going to do now. Decimals, percentages. I'm just going to wipe my board. And let's have decimals to percentages. Okay, now we're going six minutes into this video. So now, all right, let's do some examples. Um, I'm going to do what I do in class. I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to show you the method, then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to give you some questions. I'm going to pause the video, and I want you to do the questions and just pretend like you've got your mini whiteboards and you're holding them up for me. So example one, example one is um, 0 0.36. I want 0 0.36 as a percentage. Now, okay, what did I do with my fractions when I wanted to turn them into a percentage? I times them by 100. I times them by 100. So that's all I'm going to do with my decimal. I'm going to times by 100. Now, because it's a decimal, I've just got to move that decimal point two spots to the right, multiplying by 100. So 0 0.36 becomes 36%. Okay, let's try example number two. 0 0.458. All right, I want this as a decimal. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my decimal point and, mold, and move it two to the right so that I have, it's now in here, so my result is 45.8%. Okay, so when converting to a percentage, you can feel a little note coming on here, when, uh, let's just write it up here, when converting, I'm just going to pause the video, okay, I just wanted to copy down a few notes there, and, and that was just to say when converting a fraction or decimal to a percentage, or any number for that matter, multiply by 100, so if it's a fraction, let's have a look at say a number like 5 eighths, multiply it by 100, now it's trickier with a fraction isn't it? because, well, fractions are just a bit trickier. They're more interesting, but they're trickier. Simplify, I can see that both of these are multiples of four, these numbers, eight and 100. So I can multiply that, I can divide them both by four, go back to my green pen, and now just multiply out. Five by 25 is 125, two times one is two, and that is 62.5%, okay. That was a fraction to a percentage. If I had a decimal, well, 31.3, wait, sorry. That's a pretty big decimal, isn't it? Um, how about I go with something like um, 1.13. Then as a percentage, I'm gonna multiply it by 100. Oh, I forgot to put the percentage sign here. Whenever you multiply by 100, it's actually 100%. Otherwise, you're changing the value in a big way, aren't you? But times by 100%, this member, this here, what's that equal to? That's equal to 1. So multiplying 1.13 by 100 just means moving that decimal point two over to the right. Voila, that number is 113%. Okay, so that's a little note there about when converting to a fraction or a decimal or any sort of number to a percentage. Last example I'm going to give you, 17.5 as a percentage. Let's do it. What do we do? Decimal point, one, two to the right. It's now in that spot there. Fill with zeros. So my number is 1,750. 
percent. Okay, here's one for you. Um, for you in pink for you. All right, so let's do these examples. You're going to convert these to a percentage, 0 0.15. Okay, now pause the screen, pause the video, and give me your answer. Okay, I hope that you moved that decimal point two to the right there and got 15%. Okay, mini whiteboard's out. Now 0 0.523 as a percentage, please. Pause the video, do your mini whiteboard, hold it up for me, go. Okay, two spots to the right because we're multiplying by 100, 52.3%. Okay, and finally, 8.2. Pause the video, do that in your mini whiteboards, and hold up the answer for me in 3, 2, 1. Okay, and this one, we're converting to a percentage, so what do we do? We're converting to a percentage, we multiply by 100. With a decimal, that's dead easy, it's just two. two moves to the right to the decimal place, fill with zeros in this case. This is all of 820%. Okay, fantastic work. Let's do exercise. Uh, what are we? We're in 3G. Can we do please question eight and question 11? Okay, and um, we will talk about your results to those questions a bit later on. Thanks guys.